already had a kind of a set comfort level with corner coming out of high school. So me transitioning back to corner from nickel wasn't too hard, but it was still a lot of stuff that I had to learn because you know it's the SEC and it's not high school anymore. No so it was just it was a slight learning curve, but it wasn't too hard. How, how competitive is it right now for you know, those starting spots on the outside? I know Mark wanted to take a hard look at the freshmen, and you obviously got two veteran guys that have started a lot of games. Yeah, I mean it's competitive all across the board, and that's how we want it. What we're trying to focus on, we're just trying to get depth because we want everybody to play, we want everybody to. to make plays on Saturdays, everybody to have great games and show up. So we're just really helping each other at this point you know, with high intensity and high competitiveness. We're just making each other better every day. Based on what you've seen so far, are some of those freshmen going to help you guys this year? Definitely. I'm, I'm happy. I was excited about all of them. Most of them um, I was able to see during their recruiting when they came on visits and stuff. So uh, I kind of developed a relationship with all of them early. So them being here is just a plus. Now, I'm excited about all of them. Who, who's jumping out? Who's made some some plays already um, in that group? They're all doing their own, making their own plays here and there. Chris Westry for sure. Chris Westry for sure. Is, uh, he's he's standing out a lot. I really like what he's doing out there. Um, Derek Beatty, he's coming along real nice. Um, Marcus, all of them. They just really. It's about it's how fast they learn, how fast they learn in their positions. Really. Even if you were playing a different position, what did you learn most from playing immediately? Last, I mean, it's big boy football. It's a bunch of grown men on that field, so uh, obviously, you know, you're not the best or the standout, the only standout that's on the field. Everything's faster, everything's a lot more quicker, so. Um, you just gotta adjust. That's the biggest thing. You just gotta adjust to the game. Are you doing any nickel anymore? You just corner? Yeah, I still do nickel. I do field and boundary, and I play down. Also, a lot of there anything like last year? Was there anything when you were doing all that stuff? Were you? Was there anything you missed a lot about corner? Was there anything you said? I'm kind of doing that. Um, not really, because even though I was playing majority nickel like during the games, during practices, I was still taking corner reps just in case I needed to get out there. So it's not like I was completely like excluded from corner. It's just that I wasn't out there on Saturday. Um, was there a conversation you had with the coaches where they came to you and said we need a guy to step up there and, and we want you to do this for you? Um, there's been a couple times where they came to me and said that they would like for me to take more reps at corners just in case I needed to get out there. So that's that's kind of really how that came about. A lot of the younger guys said so they've kind of turned to you, kind of give them advice, and then you know, needed help with something. What do they kind of asked you most? Um, just about uh, techniques, you know, strategies within the scheme that we play, what they need to look for. You know, I try and help all of them the best that I can, whether it's in the film room or if it's on the field. Uh, if they're visual learners, if they need to see it on film, uh, I just try to stay close to them at all times to be ready for whatever questions they have.